So this is about a month after the um, surgery. So you can see my scars here. This one kind of is in the middle, kind of like in the solar plexus area, a little bit there. That's where they actually take your gallbladder out from, is what the doctor says. Then you have one here on the side. I'm sure he needed that. And then there's the belly button that they actually went in there. It actually looks pretty bad. I try to kind of scrub it a little bit, but it's kind of hard. But you can kind of see that it's still there. This one still has some of that. They don't use stitches anymore. They use like this kind of like rubber stuff or kind of gel. I don't know what it is now. But you can see it's still kind of peeling off a bit. But um, once you get out of the hospital, it's kind of weird. Um, they fill you with these kind of like uh, gas. I don't know if you could do some research on this, like um, carbon dioxide, I don't know. And um, so the gas kind of just like makes you feel puffed up and it, you can't just you can't just fart it out and you can't just burp it out. Like it's stuck to you. It's the weirdest thing. So, yeah, you're in a little bit of a pain from the surgery, but most of the pain for me was that gas and uh when i came home i um i didn't know how to lay down because you can't lay down on your side but i kind of built my uh, bed like this here and i'll show you guys kind of how i went in and out uh i got this stand here it's not really professional or anything so i would come and take this pillow move it out of the way i would grab my hand onto the desk then I would come and lay down like this. And then I would grab a pillow and put it and I would sleep like this. Like almost sitting up the whole night. And it's, it was uncomfortable. But if you lay down all the way where you go and try to lay down on your side, it, it's worse. It's really tough. So that's the only thing I could recommend to try to build yourself some weird thing like that where you're kind of sitting up. Uh, laying down and uh, other than that um, just try to walk walk around as much as you can like uh, when I first got out they said uh, liquids only so I had some Gatorade I had some water um, then I had some broth then the next day my uh, wife made me some salad and stuff you know you have to just try to like ease into it I had some salad and whatnot and then um, then I was actually feeling pretty decent, but um, the, what do you call it? The gas is so like bad that it goes, it goes into your shoulders. Like your shoulders will go, oh, um, you know, you'll feel the pain go all the way up to your shoulder and you feel like this aching, aching pain. It just doesn't go away. So just try to, I mean, it's tiring and it's, it's tough. You don't have the energy and you don't feel like it, but just go for your walks like try to walk around your house as much as you can and walk around that's all you can do to get rid of that gas i actually ended up taking like one or two pills for the pain because it just got really bad um and then actually by the i would say the first week is terrible so hunker down for that first week don't don't think about doing nothing then the uh, second week, you start feeling a lot, 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 lot better. and still the pain. Uh, I think by the second week, I was able to actually lay, like the end of the second week, I was actually able to lay down all the way, which was great. Uh, lay down back because I sleep on my stomach or I sleep on the side. So then you don't have to do this anymore. Um, then I would say by the third week, actually, I was, I was doing great. Uh, and then you could uh, pretty much eat almost anything you want people tell you like oh you can't have high fats and oh there goes your high fat diet and this and that but uh, i don't know if it's true or not man because i i'm still eating burgers and i actually had um tacos with birria so i i guess it depends on the person you know like if you've been eating i, I kind of took it this way that like you know my uh, gallbladder was already filled with rocks so there was no space in there for any of the bile to to get in or maybe there was a little bit of bile in there reserved so I, it really wasn't working anyways to begin with so after they took it out i kind of feel 
basically about the same as I did before. So, you know, it, it really depends on you. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just want to let everybody know, um, you know, how to kind of deal with it. If you have any questions, let me know.